Hinch, a, a big FA Cup game coming up this weekend and an opportunity to take Worthing into the first round proper for the first time this century, I believe. Just how big an occasion is it going to be here at Woodside? Um, no, yeah, I wasn't quite aware of that this century. Um, a few of the fans have sort of um, let me know in, in recent years that we haven't had a cup run in a while. So, yeah, it'd be nice, nice to do that. But um, obviously, far from no different. I think uh, any team, when you get to this stage, you start um, dreaming a little bit of you know the potential tie that you could get. But um, yeah, for ourselves, it's a, it's a case of uh, home tie. It's a, it's a tough game. Obviously, Bath are doing well. But yeah, we're hoping for for a big crowd, and you know we we want to um, make a good account of ourselves. That's all we can ask. Going back to last weekend, it was a, a draw in quite dramatic circumstances against Truro. Have you had time to reflect on that, and sort of what learnings have you taken from that game? Yeah, I don't think we started particularly well again. Um, you know, first half we didn't offer a lot, but we had a lot of the ball, and um, you know whether it's a case of that possession that we're having first half is is tiring teams down a bit second half and we get a bit of momentum in the second half um, you know it might be a case of that but um, yeah we've got to look at it we've got to start brighter um, especially Saturday we want to come up the blocks and get off to a good start and um, yeah there's 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 lots for us to, to improve on um, our play like we've been speaking a lot about the amount of possession that we've have, having and stuff, but you know it's all very well having that possession. There's got to be some some purpose towards it, and you know that's going to be the key thing for us to try to um, to work on this week. And um, yeah, we, we will analyse Saturday and um, you know try and try and put it right um, like we always do, and be ready come come Saturday for like I say a tough test, but one that you've, you've got to look forward to this this sort of stage of the FA Cup. Yeah, and looking ahead to this weekend then, it would be fifth against third if it was a league game this weekend. Just how tough an opponent is Bath going to be this weekend for you? No, they are really good side. We had two really tough games of them last year. Um, so, yeah, they'll obviously um, be wary of us as, as we will be with them. Um, so, yeah, it'll be a real a good game. Both games last year were, were tight affairs and could have gone either way, especially the one at their place. Um, Thought we edged it a bit, but didn't quite get the the rubber green, and was lucky. I think Oli got a Oli Starkey got a late um, equaliser for us on that day. So yeah, it was um, two two tough games. So I don't expect Saturday to be any different. But um, you know, just with with the whole week, really, what a week for the football club. Um, you know, three massive games, starting with Bath on Saturday, and then you got a league team in, in Crawley or potential of a, a replay, and then. Uh, Yeovil Town at home, so you know three three big games, and you know just um, shows how far the club's come in recent years that you're em embarking on a week like that. Of course, yeah, you touched on it there. How how big is that run going to be to just galvanise the squad? Obviously, three massive games in three different competitions, champions in one of them last year. How how much are you targeting this run of games? No, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be a tough run, but yeah, we want to. I still think we're not not quite clicking as a team yet. We've not quite got um, the personnel um, and the shape quite right. I don't think so. Yeah, it's still um, lots of us to work on, and it's like I say, when you're third from top and in the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup, and you still think there's more to come. Um, you know, that's a good place to be. I think um, we're not resting on our laurels. We don't think we're the finished article by any stretch of the imagination, and, and we'll constantly um, keep working and grafting until we get it right. Uh, just looking at the squad then ahead of this weekend, obviously uh, Captain Aaron Racine went down injured last weekend. Have you got an update on his injury for us? Um, not really. We we'll assess um, them this week and, and see how they're getting on, but yeah, it wasn't looking too good. It's still quite swollen and, and um, stiff and, and quite sore still yesterday on Monday. Um, so, you know, it's. it's it's, it's not looking good, but yeah, we'll assess it hopefully, and hopefully the swelling goes down and we'll be able to assess it properly and, and see where we are. And Greg had a bit of a whack on his foot as well, and it was quite swollen and, and quite bruised, so we'll have to have a look at that. But, um, you know, it's, it's opportunity for other players, isn't it? Um, I thought Joe Rye was excellent when he came on, so you know, he might get a bit more game time now. Um, you know, Danny Cashman and Juan Luque uh, been waiting in the wings on, on Saturday and did manage to get on the pitch so they're desperate to, to get out there and show what they can do. Still think there's more to come from them too. Um, and you know we've got Kane a day uh, made up the bench as well. So you know we have got players that want to be starting at this kind of level and you know what an opportunity they'll have this week.